Hello, it's your boy. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're back at it again just to be back at it again. All your embroidery needs, all your technical needs, massive videos, follow along. Let's get into it. I got a good one for you. This one should be for all y'all that get stuck in all this technical stuff. Well, let's get into it. All right, guys, it's going to be a follow up from my other video that I shot that um, it's about timing off and fixing and all this stuff. Just in case you went the other timing route and then that didn't work, um, I had to go deep into another thing. This is a, a pro maker. Uh, don't worry about it. All right, it's a pro maker. Um, Embroidery machine, 15 needle. Hopefully, this helps you through if you got a pro maker or if you got some other machines. Because uh, just subscribe to the channel, almost forgot, and thumbs up the video. So, might not do nothing, but it actually helps me out in growing my channel. And let's grow the channel. All right, guys? All right, well, let's get into this. Now, as we all know, if you know anything... oh. Okay, a lot of times the machine gets out of time, so what happens is the needle down, the stitches get the messing up. I'm actually at the end of this video, I'm gonna put some pictures of some of the things that was going on, like the stitches wasn't stitching right, it was out of time, right? So you go in here, uh, let me see if I can find a picture of that too. In here, this is uh, the degrees. So you need to be set at 100 degrees. And you go, you take this, and this turns it right here. I'm not going to mess with it because it's set right now. So, But it turns it to, uh, it needs to be at 100 degrees to make the machine function correctly. Um, you know, all these will be in, in line, and then all the needles will be in line. So um, we had it in time. We had this at 100 and then the needle was stuck down so we put it at zero and the needle would come up all right and then but this would be down so we know something was wrong okay so i had to contact my contact person and we went through this back and forth back and forth but i want to uh do a video for this because i don't want nobody else to go through what i did it is up at 3 a.m in the morning and have your machine down okay so um, while going through this, this is what uh, design I'm working on. So, you know, getting a little printout. Gotta learn how to operate this machine. So, you go in here. Make sure. So, uh, this might be rough because I only did it. Which I just did it a few minutes ago. I'm not talking to them right now. You know, you know, they're on a different time zone. So, hopefully, I can remember what we just did. And I thought that'd be cool if I shot a video. And could help somebody else out. And I'll make sure this is a long enough video so <clears throat> it covers everything. This has to be at 100. You take this to turn it to get that to turn it up, get to 100 degrees. Make sure all the needles are up. Make sure all of these loopholes, eye holes are up. We don't know what they call. He didn't know what they was called either. So, all right, you got to go to that page yeah that see you know the figure learned that this lets you know when you at 100 also this so you take that and you turn this right here if you it'll tell you that it's not at 100 this lets you know this setting right here lets you know that it's at 100 okay. it's just like a thing so that lets you know that you're at 100 
All right? So that's like a... So if you... Your machine, and this is not saying 100, that, that's like an indicator right there. Okay? And so we went into here, I think. Yes, we went into there. And go back so you can see that again. We'll go into here. Boom. Then we go into more settings. Okay. And make sure I remember this. And it's going to be right here. Oh. Gotta go back. Gotta go back, guys. Because I already went. It's like I fast forward, skipped a step or something. <laughs> so you go, you go all the way back. Start this over. So you're going to go here. You're going to go to the finger. Say press me. You're going to go here. And then you're going to... Yeah, I know I had to skip this step. Because then you got to go here. Click this right here. I think it, it might as well still open because I had just been in there. Don't touch none of this yet. I don't even know what this stands for. Once I learn what this is for, I'm going to do a video for y'all on that as well. So you go into here. And then you go into break, detect, para. I think it's parameters. That's what it's a uh, probably a word is to that's a symbol by it, so and then so boom 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 heads set all heads blah 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 nope and then you go to the second page so you're gonna go here and this right here machine head motor angle needs to be at five mine was at one and that was the problem so it was at one, so it would work, but the stitches were, it was making its own stitches. Um, like I said, I'm gonna put some at the end of the video. Let me see if I got one of the beanies that I did. If I can find it for you guys, I'm gonna share this for you. So you can see maybe yours is doing the same thing. And you like, man, I was going nuts. Oh, here it is. So. You see that C, how it stitches like that? That's how it's supposed to stitch, right? This is how it was doing. This is the only way I could tell that something was wrong. And I thought it was, uh, I was like, I was like, did the, uh, what's the name change? The uh, the file change? Cause it seemed like the file just hit automatically just changed overnight. I woke, actually I woke up to my um, thing doing this. See that, that stitch right there. So it was like, it was making its own stitch. And then it was, instead of doing jump stitches, like it would, instead of doing jump stitch, like a jump stitch would be from here to here. Hopefully you guys know what a jump stitch is. It would stitch it. It would go, it would just stitch the stitch instead of doing a jump stitch. It would stitch, it wouldn't do, it wouldn't do a jump stick. It would do a stitch, a regular stitch. So then I called the, um, the guy, I ended up going off on one of the guys because he was saying that I need to talk to him. I'm like, man, it's not the time. When, when you're, uh, at this level, let me go back out of here so I can show y'all how to get back out. So this right here, close out, and I'm back. Let me double check it. <laughs> I went out kind of fast, so. This. This. All right, and you see, motor head angle five. All right, plus I need to shoot this video for me later on. If I forget what I did, I'll always have this video around like, oh man, um, what did I do? What did I do? And also, you need to know the passcode. So that's this this machine, the passcode for this, because when you, I think it gives you like a 24 hour time, the password, if you need the password. So hopefully you stayed on and watched to this end, to this point, hopefully. If you didn't, you're gonna mess out. Um, eight, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I don't know what, your machine might be, but that's the passcode because I already had already been in there, so it still saves. But I know after so long, it's gonna kick kick me out because I did the passcode on my other machine at one time too. So, but I forgot it. So this time I got smart and I wrote it down, and I actually stuck it on this side of the machine right there. So. <sighs> Yeah, because now y'all can see these jump stitches right here. This is a jump stitch, if you didn't know what that was. Instead of it goes, Joop, it jumps, right? It was doing this. It wouldn't do no jump stitches. In which, all of these are jump stitches. They, whoever uh, did this pattern made these jump stitches. 
And you can see we're stitching them out instead of jumping them. You can see? So if y'all got any questions of, of, of this, I'm going to go back through it. So this needs to be at 100. This needs to be at 100 degrees. Get in there, you'll see it's a little degree thing. The red, it's a little red in detector, in the <laughs> indicator that's gonna be there. You take this to turn it, and make sure all the needles are even, and these as well, because I had the needle up, but this was down, so that's how I knew something was off. I was like, man, I was, I was looking for the back of the motor. Um, I was trying to sh troubleshoot it myself, but I ended up at the call of the manufacturer, and he helped me out. And that's what he told me and i was thinking that there's no way a person's going to be able to figure that out on their own so um guys i said i gotta make this video for you guys for me later on once i forget how i did all this and so i'm just trying to make it work for both of us and thumbs up the video be sure to subscribe and let me get into the outro so for questions and answers. All right, guys. Get into the outro part. Any questions, go to this website right here. Um, send me a message. I'm going to get the part keep this. I got to keep this up now since I'm sending all y'all people there. Um, any questions of how I did it, how I came about it, uh, what was it actually before? But see, be sure to leave in the comments all these things so i can help you out subscribe to the channel and uh thumbs up the video and if you just got here don't worry more videos to come and if you need more videos of some of this stuff or if you're having some problems please send me the idea so i can go through it and get you all right all right till next time holla at your boy holla at your rob roy and i'll salute and see you next time